24 gets a nice jump. There they are, two by two position. Six on back. Trevor Johnson there in the uh, 66. On the outside, getting passed up by the 19, getting a not such great restart. And the naked lady vehicle. And uh, yeah, here they are, two by two up front. This is your battle for third position right there between the nine and the 32. No, the nine and the 59 drunk man. Let's go on board with one of these drivers right now and see if we can get a lap around this joint. Riding on board with Jake Perkins in the 59, driving in third position, coming out of turn number two at 180 miles an hour down the back stretch, barreling down into turn number three, lap number 33. 177 miles an hour as we see a move for the lead going on and the number 25 sniffing to the inside getting down on the apron below the white line to get to the inside of the 24 of Dustin Lee we got a three-way battle going on up front looking back from Jake Perkins these guys almost killed one another, but somebody else did. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, did my radio sound bad out there? I'm not exactly sure to what brings out caution flag number seven, but viewers, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. And when I look, oh, big one. There we go. Let's see what happens here. We got a lot of cars in trouble. Let's see what happens to bring out caution flag number way too many. Hey, star is coming out of two. Hey, star. Big wreck, big wreck. Let's head up to the chopper view. Let's go up a few more cars. Starts right in front of Dave Swindell, the number one. Let's go to the chopper view, please. Right in front of him, the nine and the 19 get into it. So there is the uh, 59. There's a 19. Oh, sorry, that's a 19. Yeah, 19, and it looks like the 32. Start all that. Yep, there's a 32 of James Wenzel. Wenzel. Wenzel into the back of the 19. The 19 down low. Here we go in super slow mo. Caution flag number seven into the night, and as soon as I look over, there is uh, the number nine truck, or the number nine car. Sorry, I call way too many truck races, ladies and gentlemen. I forget, we're driving class B cars, oh my god. With the 32, uh, the, the 32, the nine, and the 19, I mean, look, they're, they're three wide in a lane and a half. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? They were only taking up a lane, uh, not even a lane and a half. They were all taking up a lane. And that'll start the chain reaction to bring out caution flag number. Who gives a shit as the uh, rear chase view comes back up. And we speed it back up. Everybody else behind uh, the naked lady truck. or na There I go again with the truck. The naked lady car. See if he gets by. Barely gets by. Everybody else able to scatter. So we're going to go uh, to the number nine. James Wenzel, who's down on pit road. Wenzel. What are you doing, Eddie Fox? You can do whatever, man. I just got to fix my damage. I think Wenzel just uh, went off. Well, that didn't help. Yeah, I'm going to jump in. Wenzel's so if you want to get his rep back to hard way. Get behind just, that pace car now. I see. I do not see Wenzel out on the track. He's not there. He's behind the wall at the moment. So uh, the next one in uh, line is the number 25. 25, 25. Nevin Robinson. All right. Let's talk to Nevin. Twenty-five car. This is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Yep. All right, you were chosen by uh, Dylan underscore WH, and uh, here is your question: Who was the tenth and final driver to qualify for the first NASCAR Nextel Cup chase 
for the championship. Was it Dale Jarrett, Jeremy Mayfield, Casey Kane, or Jamie McMurray? I'm going to go Casey Kane. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The end of the line, you will go. The correct answer was uh, Jeremy Mayfield. Jeremy Mayfield won uh, the 26th race of the season at Richmond International Raceway to squeak into the chase field. So I'm sorry. Back to the uh, back to the tail end, you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. There we have it. Another driver. Fail! <laughs> uh, we've seen some fun here tonight. At least it wasn't Bolton. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, that was actually a good guess. Uh, I didn't know that, uh, but uh, there we go. So back to the, uh, back to the end he's going to go, and uh, we're going to go green flag racing here as they're all doubled up. Lights on the pace car are off. Your new leader, Travis Sollenberger. Sollenberger on the inside of the number one naked lady. Bikini lady. She's not really naked, but that's Dave Swindell. Dustin Lee in the 24 right behind him. So we're going to have one hell of a restart here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves here tonight. We're having a great time. We are running, for the very first time, the new Twisted Rules of Norgar TV Mystery Race. And uh, we're asking the drivers trivia questions. If they get them wrong, they uh, get penalized. If they get them right, they get to penalize another driver and make out a bunch of friends. And uh, I hope you're all enjoying the uh, new format. But the pace car is off. We're going to be going green, green, green. Uh, Time to go bump up and again here live on Norgar TV. Green as the 59 leads him down, but the number one on the outside gets a good jump. He's side by side. I'm pretty sure the number one didn't jump, but uh, I can't I, I can't get word with his crew chief now as we see him go on the inside. Uh, he got one hell of a jump there on the start. I don't know if he would have got flagged by uh, Norgar TV officials or not on that restart, but uh, he's fallen back. 59, going to lose his position there up front. Oh, no, go back there. There we go. The 59 loses it up to the 32. Another lead change here tonight. Down to the inside, the 59 goes, looking up front there, riding the DuPont. Chevy Impala down on the inside of the 32, trying to retake the lead here on lap number 40. Oh, and the 32 into the wall, three wide coming down the front stretch. Naked Lady down on the inside, staying on that white line on the inside of the two. The two going to retake the spot as they're two by two. They're in fifth position. A lot of racing going on up front. The 59 looking back in his mirror right now. Loving every minute of this side-by-side -side race. And here we go. Let's look back from the 59. There is your interval between first and second position here tonight live on Norgar TV. We're 65 laps. We're on lap number 42. 59, Jake Perkins leading them around here tonight in Vegas. These drivers taking their luck. These drivers being asked trivia questions. These drivers being asked to screw other drivers. It's all kinds of great shit here tonight along. Nor oh, yes, it's on us. Somebody's down on the uh, apron. He's out of the way. Yeah, all kinds of great new stuff going on here at Norgar TV. Yay. There 
is the 32 in the uh, number three. Caution's out. Oh no, caution flag has flown again. That means another driver. Yeah, did fun. my radio sound bad out there? Ford GT Mustang out on the trip. Wow, you guys are right on the ball. You guys are paying attention. I love it. Getting the uh, viewers involved in what's going to happen in the race here at Norgard TV. Please, ladies and gentlemen, tell me if anybody's ever done this on Twitch TV before because uh, I don't watch other people's casts. I don't want to be accused of copying something, but I will be completely honest. I thought this up at, here at 420 this morning. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And uh, just wanted to see what would happen. Yeah, the number two. The number two will be a hero or a zero. As we're going to see pace uh, pit stops coming down. The number 32 coming down the pit lane right now. 32 giving up his front spot. 32, where are you? 30, there's Solenberger. Solenberger and the naked lady uh, truck. There, I said the truck again. <laughs> I got to stop calling truck races. I love truck races though. Who doesn't love truck races? Truck races are fun. A lot of guys coming down on pit road. We'll watch the uh, we'll watch the uh, race off of pit road right there. The number one, they're in the further stall ahead, but there we go. Coors Light gets off first. All right, so we're gonna head up to the number two vehicle, Eric Sable. Eric Sable there riding in second position in the number two vehicle. Let's go on board with him. All right, here we go. Eric Sable, this is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? All right, man, you were uh, picked in chat to answer this question, so good luck to you. Here it is. Whose first win came at Daytona in 2001? Was it Kurt Busch, Greg Biffle, Michael Waltrip, or Matt Kenseth? Michael Waltrip. You are correct, sir. Michael Waltrip won the 2001 Daytona 500, the same race where his boss, Dale Earnhardt Sr., tragically lost his life on the same day. You are absolutely correct. And what number car do you want to see go to the back? I would have made the 59 go to the back. All right, congratulations, Eric. Sorry, Jake. That sucks for you. Better luck next time. Glad that was your final answer, Mr. Sable, and uh, good luck to you on the rest of you the race. You know, if you'd have got that wrong, you'd have been in big trouble from a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're still here live on Norgar TV, lap number 46 of 65. Thank you all for tuning in here tonight. I hope you're having a great time. Uh, I sure am. These Some of these drivers are not. But uh, we're still under yellow flag conditions. Uh, you got about a minute, minute and a half before you get to... Uh, see green flag racing so you may want to get up you may want to grab yourself a sandwich smack your wife in the ass go have a smoke take a leak grab your wife's boob I don't care what you got to do but you got 90 seconds to do it Hey, Admin, can you clear my black flag from passing under the pit? The guy didn't get around fast enough. Well.
Lights on the pace car are off. We'll be going green flag racing next time by these drivers. Um, yeah, these drivers uh, looking forward to another green flag one uh, run. See how many drivers we still have on the lead lap. We still have 14 cars on the lead lap, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. No, not everybody else. Alan Young's still on. We have one car three laps down. Bolton, who has gotten nailed repeatedly with the questions tonight, uh, eight laps down and uh, I believe out of the race. So the 11 car off the track, your pole sitter. Not going to be able to finish Green here tonight. Flag. Time to go bumper humping again, and the two going to lead them down. Green, green, green. Forty-six. Battling with the twenty-five for second position. Crank it up, ladies and gentlemen. Crank it up, crank it up. We're going to flip through some in-car views, so crank it up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just listen to this for, like, three laps. This is some good racing going on we got going here. Ladies and gentlemen in Las Vegas now, they're under green. All single file starting to spread out right now, but we still do have racing going on about mid-pack on back. There we have the number 19 trying to get on the inside of the 25. Coming down the back stretch at 182 miles an hour. 19 down on the inside. 25 trying to get a run in the middle lane three grooves coming through the turns here at Vegas That's what makes this place so fast and so exciting to race through the turns these guys uh, get kind of a slow going there, but uh, Under green flag condition. Oh three wide. Oh, we got problems. There it is Box is out. Box They are is watching out. themselves on Nordgar TV the 59 in trouble Good look here, Tom. Make sure Caution okay. flag number eight comes out here tonight on lap number 53. We're winding it down right now in the 59 of Jake Perkins in trouble. Coming out of turn number two. Let's take a, a ride on board and see what happens with him here. From the chopper view, there is the 59 on the outside of your screen right there. Uh, the 24 of Dustin Lee down low. Uh, yeah, let's look at it from the front view. Let's look at it from the front view. Rear chase. The 24 and the 59 get together. It looks like the uh, 59 right here. He may start getting a little loose, but, I mean, he's really pinching the 24. 
the 24 may be coming up a little bit, but the 24 are riding at like five feet off the white line. So you viewers call it. I don't know. That's a racing incident. Both racers racing real, real hard under green flag conditions here. And uh, just not enough real estate for the both of them. And uh, Bolton asked for the number 59, and we're going to go on board with uh, the driver that wrecked. see the rest of it here he's gonna come down pit road and hopefully he's got still a free reset but uh, the 59 of Perkins down on pit road and he'll be scored in well, he's not going to be able to fall the end of the line because he is at the end of the line. But there he comes coming off a of pit road, but the question will be for the 59. <laughs> 59 car, Jake Perkins. You were picked in chat to answer the trivia question. You got a copy. All right, uh, you were picked in chat by Bolton, and your question is, <coughs> excuse me, entering 2005, who won the most money in a single season? Was it Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, or Matt Kenseth? Oh, shoot. I'm going to go with Jeff Gordon. That is incorrect, I am sorry. And just on a uh, good note, 68% uh, of the people answered that question incorrectly. The correct answer was Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. won $6,921,000. I'm sorry, you were already at the end and you're gonna have to go even further to the end. I apologize. Good luck. <laughs> 59, did that give you two enough room? I don't know if I caused it. I was trying to stay high. All right, we're going to go green flag racing again here in just another lap, ladies and gentlemen. You still got a little time to go run and do something. Here we are on lap number 56 in the number two of Eric Sable still up front here on 56. All right behind him, the number one of Swindell. Swindell has worked his way back up there, and uh, he will be going uh, and he will be going to the outside uh, when they double up. I'm hoping we see another caution. Uh, I got the next trivia question up, and uh, I want to know the answer to it. So uh, I hope we get another caution. Caution flag, I don't know. We're on. Who cares what caution flag we are? Are you guys having fun? Everybody in chat, you guys having fun? I know Bolton's not having fun. But, yeah, everybody should be out of resets. We should be winding down... Uh, the number of vehicles out on the car. We're going to see a lot more cars taking their uh, cars behind the wall uh, back to the trailers because they're not going to be able to finish this one. And uh, uh, we're weeding through them, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the normal mystery race. This is mystery race on steroids, baby. And this is what you get. This is what you get when I'm walking around in the dark at 420 in the morning not knowing what to do with myself. This is the kind of crap I come up with. So I hope you are all enjoying it. And we're going to go green flag racing. Lap number 58. These guys going to wind it down. Caution flag comes out again. It might be the end. So uh, 
we'll see what happens here. I think you're counting, uh... Green flag, green flag. Never mind. The two takes him down. I'm getting all my stuff off the speed channel, brother. I think you're counting everything is what you're counting. Not just race winnings, but the two brings him down of Sable, the number one on the outside. I don't know what to tell you. I'm taking it off a website. I'm not, you know, I'm not pulling these out of my ass, so if they're wrong, it's not my fault. The 19 down on the inside. Who cares? Have fun. Quit fact-checking me, troll, and watch the race. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> anyway, down on uh, the inside, the 25 takes over the position for, from the 19. That'll bring, uh, that was for fourth. There on the outside, Sable's got a challenge down on the inside with the naked lady truck, the Coors Light Chevy Impala, driven by, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who cares? Listen to this shit. This is great. Oh, and we got pushing and shoving going out on for second position right now. Up there right now with the uh, number 25. The 25 right behind the 32 of uh, Solenberger. Solenberger getting a little jiggy with it on the back of the naked lady machine. Lap number 61, we got four to go, four to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going 65 laps here tonight. It's been an exciting 65 laps. As we look back at the number 32 of Solenberger driving for Deja Vu. I think it's D1 of, I don't know what the hell that says. Uh, I'm sorry, I've been drinking. Looking ahead. First, second, and third just up ahead of them. Oh, on the outside. Where the hell did you come from, Hillbilly Pete? All right, we got Norgar TV coming down. Oh, look at that. Down on the inside. Oh, the two. He got to slide up in front of there. Oh, those whippersnappers really moving around this track here tonight. We only got three laps left. These guys got to move. Thanks, Hillbilly. Hillbilly Pete, everybody. Down the back stretch, going down into turn number three. 180 miles an hour. We got a jumble mess of you know what up front. 32 and the two not giving each other any room as the one is going to take the lead position on lap number 64. Two to go. Lead change. And they're not done. They're not done up front. The 32 wants it. The 25. Oh, no. The 25. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They're wrecking. They're flipping. They're hitting the catch fence. That's going to end the race under caution, ladies and gentlemen. I believe you're. I don't know. That's, that's, uh, uh, we're going to have to figure that out. That'll be caution flag number 10. That'll do it for the night. Let's take a look and see what happens here, and uh, we'll get our winner here in a minute, the official word. Let's go from the uh, crash, focus on crash people, and let's go. Let's see what happens here. Lap number 64. This is with two to go, 64, 65 to go. 32 in the two and the 25 and the – yeah. Let's uh, take a look at that. From the two's point of view, from the rear chase – See what happens here. I think the 25 gets into the 32, and then the 32 goes up into the 2, or the 2 and the 32, they were battling real hard, and they could have got into one another. Let's see what happens. I don't know. The camera will tell us. There is the 2 and the 32. 
25 definitely into the, uh, yeah, that's not a great view. Trivia question for Dave. Here we go from the chopper. It's a combination of the three, ladies and gentlemen. That is automotive intercourse, and that will finish out the night here on Norgar TV as we see the two get airborne. That is unfortunate. I hope he's okay. Let's take one more look at it from behind and congratulate our winner, whoever that may be. We don't know yet. We come down the front stretch here at Las Vegas, lap number 64. We're gonna see shit flying through the air. We're gonna see people trying to dodge and duck and drop rolling cover as they come down the back stretch and look at that. Amazing, so let's get a word in with our winner now. Let's check the official scoring. Find the winner. Winner, please do not leave. Oh, man. That was nasty. All right, so our winner, we head back up live. Our winner is going to be uh, Dave Swindell, uh, Swindle. I hope he's still in the house. Dave Swindle, you still in the house there, buddy? He is still in the house. Hang on. We're having audio difficulties right now. Uh, my sound men have been um, free basing coke here tonight, so they're a little slow. They think everything's all wobbly but they're still running around around. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Dave, uh, this is Norgar in the booth. You got it. You got a copy now? Yeah, go ahead, Norgar. Congratulations on uh, winning the very, very first Twisted Mystery Race. Uh, how do you feel up there? Oh, good. I mean, uh, great race, great format, great questions. Uh, did a great job. Car ran great. Uh, Coors Light and uh, all the girls did a great job. How? Shit, I was on mute. Sorry. How were you feeling? <laughs> How were you feeling uh, uh, when you were, were up front and the green flag lap started to tick off? Uh, did you feel confident about being able to keep it? The next car was pretty good. Uh, good setup, and Eric runs hard, and, you know, he's tough, and I thought we had a way around him, and uh, we found it. Well, uh, it was a very uh, interesting race, to say nonetheless. Uh, do you think you made any new friends out there tonight, or maybe possibly did you make some enemies? Oh, I think uh, a couple friends and a couple enemies. I think um, this format will lend itself to, but Justin's a good sport, so we'll see. Well, you are the inaugural winner of this race. Congratulations to bring home the Naked Lady Coors Light Chevy Impala to Victory Lane. Uh, would you like to uh, thank anybody at all, uh, your sponsors, and uh, anything else you want to go before we uh, – switch over to the next race here and yeah, we need to thank uh, John O.B. Abrinsky for the paint job it's his creation and uh, we carry it pretty nicely of course light of course and all the guys that help change tires all right well uh, congratulations and uh, great job and thank you to all the drivers for being patient with this format and uh, we're going to take a survey here in chat right now to see if they liked it to see if we should do it again uh, or uh, 
one or the other, I'm throwing another race right after this. So stay tuned to Norgar TV. We're going to have another one, but it may be a regular mystery race. We'll see what the uh, crowd has to decide. But congratulations uh, there, Dave, and uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks, great job, Norgar TV.